Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the team of the group stage Alejandro Gomez card. This card was released last week, so I'm going to go through his player card, his stats, his details, some of his traits, some clips of him, of course, and the summary at the end. But before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload, and drop a comment down below what your thoughts were on the team of the group stage, if you feel like anyone else deserved it more, if you felt some players were included unfairly, um, and what you think of this Gomez card as well. So, getting into Alejandro Gomez, 5'6", <clears throat> high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star with 4 star weak foot, uh, I bought him at 167 guys, he is of course around that price right now, he's dropped a little bit, he will pick up again once he comes out of packs, um, I played 8 games with him, 12 goals, 6 assists, so a really good return with this card guys, um, I will say, uh, with regards to the footage, is that I recorded a lot of the footage and it corrupted, so some of my goals are not in there unfortunately, I did, I do still have some clips for you guys, but it's just to let you know that that has happened. So, getting into what I used, I used an engine chem style on him. Um, I wanted to boost his, I don't really know why I boosted his pace and dribbling, maybe I should have gone for just shooting and passing with a dead eye, but <clears throat> I felt like as I played him as a number 10, those were the things that I would want the most for this player to improve at. Uh, of course he plays for Atalanta in the Serie A and is Argentinian, so there's some great linkability in there, we'll get into that a bit later on. Um, in terms of his attributes guys, the standout one for this guy is of course his pace and his dribbling. He is an absolute god at dribbling. It's so difficult to stop him at times. Um, a lot of the time you just get people jockeying you and that can be quite frustrating but you can still find ways around them. Um, in terms of the weakness of this card, the stamina is low um, and that really affects the card in terms of being able to run a lot with him or his movement into the box or into dangerous areas. His shot power as well isn't great, which was the other con for me was that I took a lot of long shots with him. Didn't really pan out because of the power he generated in his shots. One thing I will say about this card guys before we get into any further stuff is that the work rates on this card were a little bit dodgy. They say high medium, it doesn't feel like it. His, some of his movements very good, don't get me wrong, but a lot of the time his movement is a bit off or it's a bit slow or it's a bit labored. Um, I don't know if that's to do with his stamina uh, or the instructions. I had instructions on for him to get forward to join the attack, lead the attacks. Um, so there was that issue for me. Getting into the traits, he is of course long shot taker outside of the foot shot trait and technical dribbler. And you guys can see from the stats that I racked up with this card, I racked up more goals than I did assist at the number 10 slot. So this card really is maybe more of a second striker than a number 10 for you guys. And um, maybe that means you have to play with a striker who's a little bit more of a play off the shoulder kind of guy and play one twos with and, and doesn't just try to slip in behind and, and uh, get behind the defenders but is actually someone who can hold the ball up, play, play with Alejandro Gomez a little more. Now that we've covered that, let's get into some of the clips that I've got with him. So guys, just getting to some Alejandro Gomez's clips here. Again, I apologize there's not as many for this. I wanted to include more of the goals but a lot of the footage got corrupted, but you can see here, the main thing that I use this guy for is just to hold the ball up, hold the play together whilst I'm dribbling with him. Again, he makes a fantastic little run there, and that, that was a catch-22 for me, guys, in that his movement at times was absolutely phenomenal, and then at other times it was just really slow, really delayed. Um, overall, though, if I, if I had to say what I thought of this card, he's absolutely fantastic. He's got everything that you would want in a cam as well. His passing is great, his dribbling is great, and look at this for a shot as well. Left footed ping. I don't know how many goals I even scored with his right foot, but the majority were with his left foot. He is such a clinical finisher on his left foot. The four star weak foot is definitely four star. Again here, you can see dribbling between defenders, really tight gaps there, and that's really where this card comes to life. I think in this clip here, I just wanted to show you guys how good he is in terms of just getting past defenders, trying to draw the fouls and because he's not that big as well, he's weak, he's maybe more likely to go down as well. Um, that maybe makes it easier to win fouls and things like that. Again, penalty is decent enough and his finishing is good enough as well on this card. Overall, I would say he is a number 10 guys, but like I mentioned before, he's much more of a second striker than he is at uh, number 10. As you can see here, look where he bunched up there with Davor Shukur. Um, he kind of bunches up with him in the center at the edge of the box and tries to take the ball in for goal scoring opportunities. 
Here again, I just take it past the man there. Reasonable amount of strength, a little turn away from the defender, and again, such a precise left foot ping right into the top corner. Again here, you'll see another goal, and this was a lovely little chip, and that just shows what kind of card this is. It's really a finesse kind of card, uh, a very enjoyable card to use in terms of all that stuff. And the final one here, just a simple little volley into the net. So guys, getting into the final part of this card, you can see Alejandro Gomez, of course I mentioned before, Atalanta, Serie A, Argentina player, so you've got some good linkability in that, we'll get onto that in a second. 162 on the PS, 152 on the Xbox, so not cheap, not crazy expensive, I mean he is an 88 rated card, he's a very well rounded card, he's a very good card, um, so is the price unreasonable? I don't think so. Will it go up a little bit after the promo? It will go down after that pretty quickly because Team of the Year will be coming in and they'll be releasing Footmas as well. So bear that in mind. He has played eight games for me, 12 goals, six assists. Again, I scored more goals than I did assists and he was playing at the number 10 the entire time. I did not move him to the striker slot once. I put the engine chem style on him, although I would argue a dead eye is maybe better for him or maybe even an artist to just boost the number 10 capabilities on him. In terms of his best stats, acceleration and agility, I mean, how quick he is on the ball is just different gravy compared to everyone else. And of course, his weak points for me, again, stamina and shot power. I wanted him to score more. The reason that his shots went in so often, I think, was because his shots are so precise on that left foot and the right foot as well. Strong links, you've got a lot of linkability there. Of course, you've got all the Argentinian icons. Um, you've got players like Ilicic, you've got uh, Lauturo Martinez, Paulo Dybala. Uh, lots of good Argentinian players you can link to. There's also a perfect, I think it's Palomino uh, at centre back who you can link to him as well. So he's got lots of good uh, players you can link with. Again, similar player, similar like Quincy Promise, uh, Baggio as well. Very similar to those kind of guys. Would I recommend you buy this card? Guys, if you're doing a Serie A team, there's a lot of good cams in that league. Um, but this guy is probably up there with the best of them right now until he gets replaced. Uh, so therefore, I would recommend you guys getting him. I mean, he's a very good card, very usable card. And uh, that would be my recommendation for it. I mean, I enjoyed using them and it was great fun to use them as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And until next time, I will catch you in a bit.